Hi, my team and I are members of a nonprofit called Innovation Academy. We're based in Algeria, North Africa. Today I'll be presenting our solution that's won the Tiny ML competition organized by the IEEE Coins Conference, New in AI, and ST Microelectronics. Let's get started. So the main objective of this competition is to design a solution for human activity recognition meaning that's based on a sensor that is placed here on the wrist level collecting accelerometer and gyroscope data so by uh, reading different movements of the arm like rotation and the different acceleration we can derive decisions to see which human activity we are performing to do that we are using Newton tiny ml platform to build our deep learning models and uh, integrating them on the latest uh, ISPU from ST microelectronics the aim of this context, or the, the, the main vision of it, is to demonstrate the feasibility of uh, embedding machine learning and neural network models on the tiniest chips on the market. In this case, we're using the SDISPU. The SDISPU consists of a, of a six axes uh, accelerometer and gyroscope sensor, in addition to a programmable CPU core. This score can be programmed using the C language. It has 32 kilobytes of uh, program memory, 8 kilobytes of data memory, and 10 megahertz of CPU frequency. And it's a very low power that is used only 0.46 milliamps. To give you some perspective, this is what the ISPU looks like in comparison with the tip of a pen. So it's only 3 millimeters long. To collect the data, we place the ISPU with the wrist level, we set the accelerometer at 8G, the gyroscope at 2000 dps, and we're recording data at 26 samples per second. Creating TinyML solutions using Newton platform is a very smooth process. As it's no code, creating models is basically easy, all you have to do is upload the data, select a set of parameters, and start the training process. Newton comes with a set of very useful tools such as the window and the uh, overlapping tools which proven to be very useful and uh, a diverse set of DSP features. Uh, our model uh, on, this, uh, on this competition we achieved an accuracy of 82% on the test set. The different, uh, we have 24 different classes and uh, our model footprint is 2 kilobytes in data memory and 17 kilobytes in program memory. And the model works very smooth and runs in real time with no delay on the, uh, in the ISPU. Uh, regarding our classes, we have seven groups in total of classes uh, containing 24 classes. Over 750 minutes of uh, recordings collected by two to five people. So we have cleaning, workshop activities, kitchen, sports, and so on. So for cleaning, we have basic activities like brushing hair, washing hands, wiping table, and so on. For a workshop, we have using a screwdriver, bolting a bolt, using a, chair, a saw to cut wood and plastic, using a hammer, or using a shovel. We have for kitchen, making dough, making bread dough basically, and uh, cutting vegetables. We have writing on paper and on board, and also wiping the board. Uh, regarding sports, we have punching a boxing bag, we have uh, jogging and rope jumping. And for others, we have the hand still using a wheelchair, using PC and handshake. So without further ado, let me leave you for the live demo.
to sum up in this competition, the most challenging part was actually creating the data sets as recording different movements of the hand and uh, cleaning the data was the most laborious part rather than creating the model which was actually the most effortless part as Newton AI facilitates this process by a lot. This enabled us to create a highly accurate solution for a, a human activity recognition that actually runs here at the sensor level rather than the microcontroller in real time. Thank you.